Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, here's Van Amsen with another live coding uh, session. So uh, for those who are joining uh, us for the uh, first time, I'm delighted to have you here and uh, to our regular viewer, your uh, continued engagement drive this channel forward. So uh, it's always great to have you with us. So let's dive in. Today, we are diving into reverse word in a string free challenge at high level the objective is to reverse each word in a string while preserving the original sequence of words. So uh, to uh, make it clearer, let's uh, write some examples. So given hello world, uh, we need to reverse it as full. So O L L E H. So uh, it's reversed. And uh, same with the second. So D L uh, R O W. Okay, so uh, this is our output. So as you can see, reverse as well. Yeah, so really straightforward uh, task. And so let's get started. Our initial solution will capitalize on Python uh, innate string manipulation function and the idea here is straightforward we will uh, split the string into its individual words reverse each of these words and then stitch them back together into final results so let's implement it return join word reverse for word in split yes just one line of code. Let's run it uh, and see if it's working. So uh, it's running all good. Uh, let's take lead code contest and it's reversed. Let's submit it as well to verify. All good. Yes. So uh, our implementation beat uh, 81%, taking 39 milliseconds. Okay, so let's uh, clear it out. And that's our first solution in place. But as programmers, we know there is always more than one way to tackle a problem. So for our next solution, we are going uh, to employ two-pointer technique, which uh, allow us to navigate uh, through the string with precision. So this method will involve identifying the boundaries of each word manually and then reversing the character within uh, those limits. So uh, let's write it down. Convert the string to list for in place modification. So s list s and start zero. And iterate through the character in the string. So for i in range len s if the character is space or is the last character so if it is so if s or i len we need to identify the end index for the word so end will be i s else i plus one and reverse the word using two pointers so while start less than end and now swap start and s end start and start plus one and end minus one. Simple reverse and set the start for the next word. Uh, start will be i plus one and return join s. Uh, yeah, so this is a, a bit longer than one line of code, but let's run it and see if it's working. So yeah, uh, all good, as you can see. Uh, and that's our second solution. So
So two different methods, both uh, effective in their own uh, right. And for those uh, proficient in various programming languages, uh, we, uh, yeah, I will provide implementation in uh, other languages like C++, uh, Go, Rust, and much more in the video description. And before we wrap up, let's run some tests to ensure our solution work as expected. So I'm submitting it and let's see which one was faster. So as you can see, this one took 97 milliseconds compared with 39 uh, for the uh, first solution. Uh, so yeah, quite a big uh, difference, but uh, yeah, I can tell you that in uh, other languages, uh, those differences are not uh, so uh, big. So for example, if we compare a Rust implementation, so a two pointer technique, uh, yeah, took uh, zero milliseconds versus three milliseconds with uh, splitting and uh, joining back together. So uh, in Rust, uh, two pointer was faster. So uh, it's also good to know and excellent. So both solution have uh, successfully passed the test. So uh, yeah, and uh, I would like to thank you for joining me on today coding a journey and we tackle uh, multiple to solution and uh, hopefully uh, added something to your coding uh, knowledge. And if you found this session informative, please give it a thumb up, uh, share with your uh, friends. And if you haven't already, subscribe to stay updated with our latest uh, contest and yeah, coding adventure, tutorial, challenges, machine learning, tech, and uh, much more. And if you have any question or suggestion, please leave the uh, comment in the comment section uh, down uh, below and keep practicing, stay motivated, happy coding, and see you next time.